credit card fraud detection system using GSM and cryptography. This is the title of our project. Now let's see the abstract. Nowadays credit card fraud practice have been increasing in a tremendous manner, especially in online. So that's a so there's necessity to detect the credit card fraud detection, which is which will be carried out without the knowledge of the card holders. Supposed a efficient framework for for the automation of the credit card fraud detection system. Here we using the online shopping method. Oh sorry, here we using the online shopping application in which we can able to detect the credit card fraud detection. Uh, we implementing a two efficient technique called uh, cryptography as well as the GSM technique in order to detect the credit card fraud detection. Cryptography is a process of converting inf normal information into a cipher text, which is which will be called as encryption. After that, we can able to convert the cipher text to a normal text which is called as decryption by doing this we can able to um, preserve the information of the credit card holders after that we using the gsm technique in order to in order to inform the card holders such that they can able to know that their card have been using in online so through the gsm we can, uh, through gsm we send the unique code for the card holders in order to verify such that the in order to verify that the user is to verify that the user is a card holder so here malicious nowadays malicious user can able to acquire the credential information of the uh, in order to carry out the credit card fraud practices so in order to preserve the every information of the card holders we need printing the cryptography as well as the gsm techniques so in order to, in order to reduce the credit card fraud transaction of the users it can be done by methodology so we proposed a cryptography as well as a gsm technique to predict to detect to detect and reduce the credit card fraud detection in online so uh, through the by by utilizing the cryptography as well as gsm we can able to we can able to preserve the credential information of the card holders so that the malicious user couldn't be able to access the card without the knowledge of the card holders so our automated system will provide a more security than ever for the credit card fraud detection practices now let's see the data flow diagram of our project this is the data flow diagram of our project here user need to register in our website in order to make use of purchasing after register after registering in the in our website this then he then it will be carried out for the ordering purpose in this ordering method user need to provide the shipping address on which the product should be delivered so here user need to provide the valid details regarding the person who will get the product that he purchased after going through this order method it will be proceed for the payment process in this payment process user need to provide the credential information of the card holders in order to make use of purchasing here the user will be asked the here user need to provide the every valid information of the card holders including the pin number after providing the pin number user need to provide his mobile number in order to receive the unique code in order in order to receive to check the card holder owners so after receiving the unique code user need to provide the unique code in order to make uh, in order to confirm the purchasing after after providing the unique code user need to provide the unique key which is which is given by the bank in order to make in order to make use of cryptography so after proceeding overall process it will be after proceeding overall process then the purchasing will be done so du during this cryptography and verification the uh, during this cryptography and verification the user will provide the unique key in order to decrypt the information from the bank uh, after proceeding every process the dispatch of the product will be confirmed this is the home screen of our project here the user need to register in order to, in order to access this website So after providing every valid information, the user can able to successfully register. Here the account is successfully registered and he can able to log in. of the use.
user here user can able to proceed for shopping here, here user can able to select one of these sections yes the user user is selecting any laptop he can he can be he can able to select the various product that he need let's proceed then the price will be automatically calculated over here then user need to provide the shipping address as well as the person who will get this product let's proceed here you need to provide the valid here the user need to provide the valid card or here user need to provide the valid card holders information in order to make use of purchasing After proceeding here, user need to provide the mobile number to which he need to to which the unique code will be sent. So suppose if the user is not available with the mobile number, he can able to just confirm, just skip this confirmation. After that, here user need to provide the key of the which is provided to this call holder from the bank. After providing this. Key, after providing the key the order will be providing this valid key the order will be successfully purchased so through a let's log on through the admin module we can able to determine the user who maliciously who will be the intruders these are the suspect lists and these are the culprit list that is the from this we can able to determine the card holder name Access the IP address username by which they need to access the card holder name. So we can able to inform this particular card holder in order that that, that they are that are, we can able to inform this card holder that their card inf that their in credential information of the card is is uh, is misused by some some hackers. Thank you.